Hey everyone, it's Amateur, and we, um, Nathan and I are back from Indianapolis and Michigan, and I just wanted to share some things that, uh, we got while we were out there. First, um, I think I mentioned we went to Indianapolis, and we first went, a few flew into South Bend, went to Bremen, Indiana, then we, uh, visited some few places there, and then we went over to Adrian, Michigan, and then we went to Indianapolis. Now, Last time I posted stuff that I got, when I posted things that I got from there, a few people were laughing because I still apparently can't pronounce the certain names correctly. So we went to, see, I was calling it Napanee, but apparently it's nap Um, sounds like the same thing, but I could be wrong. So we went to Napanee, but these, um, this is actually from the, uh, Tecumseh, this is from Tecumseh, Michigan, and this was close to Adrian, Michigan, where Nathan's aunt lives. They took us for tea and um, to the British Pantry, and this is actually, yes, this is the shopping bag. We bought a few things, and this is the shopping bag that it came in. I plan to just rip this out and use this, because it's super cool. Uh, use this for, like, scrapbook and stuff like that. But we got, this is the British Tea Garden and Rooftop Cafe. Oh my god, the best scones of my life. I had the best scones of my life there. It was a cinnamon, and the other one I think was blueberry. I can't remember, but it, it was amazing. And we got this for Nathan's mom. Oh, this is British Tea Garden to come see Michigan. And it was just a cute little magnet. We, we like getting magnets because who doesn't have a fridge, right? Here's the thing. When people bring me, like, keychains from a place, which is funny because I have keychains in my shop. Like, I don't use them because I don't need 17 of them. Um, but magnets, oh, I love magnets. We love magnets. We have magnets from all of the places that we've traveled to in um, on our fridge. So, what does that say? Oh. So, this one is, we got, Nathan's mom collects teacups and vintage teacups and whatnot and teapots. And they're so cute. So, we saw this one and this is the one that uh, Nathan picked out. For us to bring her and it's just gorgeous like look at that i especially like the lip of it how it looks like a flower and it has the flower print around so it's super super gorgeous hopefully she's not watching this and <laughs> and um so we can surprise her with that so we had a pack of that it was super super cute sorry for the noise but if i do not put this away right now it might break and that's not good so yeah, that was from the british pantry or british tea garden uh rooftop cafe it's super super cute i it was awesome so if you guys are ever in tecumseh <laughs> you guys can uh, stop by there as well let me put this back in here as well Doo -doo -doo. okay so yes that is that was from there so i'm going to show you some antiques and some little things that we got along the way let me go through this first we actually went to the Indianapolis Children's Museum, and I always keep like little brochures, um, receipts, and stuff like that. Oh, this was the thing from the the British Tea Garden. They have high tea and stuff like that, but it's super super awesome. Different little things that uh, I see, I can use for ephemera. All these little things I can cut out if we did them and stuff. And the Children's Museum had a superhero exhibit along with a whole bunch of other stuff and like a pop culture exhibit. It was super awesome. My favorite thing was the dinosaurs. Now, I got one of these originally for myself. Um, but I couldn't decide what to get my nephews for my, my little nephews for a like a little thing. And this oh my gosh, you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you don't understand. Like, I would have put money into this machine just to watch it work. What it is is vintage blow mold where, that they had this machine. It has, and um, I'm not sure if it saved the video of it to my phone. So if it did, I'll put it in here. But what it is, is these, this vintage mold. It closes. This plastic is injected into it, and then hot air is blown in for it to fill and expand. And look, you can even see the little rough marks, which I love. They're staying. I didn't take them off. And the cool thing is that actually on the bottom it says Children's Museum Indianapolis Tyrannosaurus. So I figured I got one for myself for the craft room. Why not? And then I got two for my little nephews, one for uh, Jonathan and Jax. And, you know, they could fight or whatever, or they could be put away. I just, they're super cute. They're, they're at that age that might start to like dinosaurs and stuff. And this was just... Oh my gosh, like, <laughs> like I'm like, I'm walking through this, through the whole exhibit, like, through all of the exhibits, holding my dinosaur. Let me tell you, people are jealous, whatever. And people are just looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's my dinosaur. 
And it's super cool because it's an actual vintage mold and they made the little machine makes it while you're there. So and don't 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 miss it. So if you're in the Indianapolis Children's Museum, it is right as you leave the dinosaur exhibit. It's a, it's a machine. It just it it's oh my gosh, it's super awesome. It's next to one of the pressed penny machines. The funny thing is we didn't get any pressed pennies because we didn't have any change. And then I used my money for this. Like our and this whatever. I wanted to get more for just for me, but I guess I can give some to my little nephews. And and I'm going to keep one. Arr. I know I'm such a dork, but I fell in love like you guys, vintage molds. Oh my goodness, they get my heart. So I got that from there. And these are the things, let me see, we went to, in Bremen, Indiana, there's a store, let me see, see here, there's a store called Yoder's, so if you're from there, I think they have another one somewhere else as well, Yoder's Hardware Store, and it's super cool because it has all, all that's, I know, I should know. Um, but Nathan, it was so cute. He bought me some of these. I actually was picking them up, and he's like, "No, I got this." So he bought me some souvenirs too. And I'm such a nerd. You guys know I'm getting into cookies. Hold on. Sorry for the noise, y'all, but you didn't die. Um, and it's just randomness. But they have like hardware stuff. They have cooking stuff. They have tons of jar stuff, mason jar stuff. I'm such a nerd. Uh, so I and they had cookie cookie cutters that. I may not have or want it or just, you know, didn't pay attention or whatever. And I got. So let's see. Um, I know, okay. So I got these because I wanted to try again to make. I used to make my dog biscuits and stuff like that, but she doesn't eat hard biscuits. She likes the softer ones. So I'm going to try to look for recipes. And if you guys have any recipes for dog treats, I'm just probably going to have to substitute a lot of stuff for. Um, with applesauce so they stay moist for her because she's old she's like 15 years old so i wanted to make little treats and i got these little bone and yes i know i could have probably found these somewhere else but it didn't matter here's what here's what i got this was the coolest thing ever this is an indianapolis um indianapolis no an in in indiana oh my goodness an indiana cookie cutter so i thought this was super cute i could use it to make cookie cutters you know i'm thinking of okay Hopefully nobody's watching my, my videos of the family. Uh, oh, I hope they do because I love them so much. It was so much fun. I'm thinking of making those ginger ornaments and just um, glazing them. and Not ginger. Oh, my gosh. The cinnamon ornaments, you know, the ones that you dry and you can use as ornaments. And drying them and maybe do like a little map or a star where they live or something like that. I thought that would be a really cute thing. Maybe send it to them in their Christmas gifts. We always send them in by groups and families. Uh, this was a stocking. Why? I just thought it was cute because it would make a cute little ornament. And then, of course, I needed a mitten. Why? I don't know. I wanted, They were like a dollar. I wanted them. And a donut one. Again, why? I'm not going to make donuts anytime soon. But if I do, I'm ready to go. Like, seriously, how cute is that? If anything, I can make biscuits. Donut biscuits. Uh, Nathan and his mom absolutely love Cardinals. So I figured I'd give these a try. This one is a joke. Um... I texted my sister when I when, whenever my, uh, one of us leaves on a trip or anything, we text each all all of all of us the siblings in a te in a group. Oh, and by the way, there's a little mitten, but that's for something else. Um, and I'm like, okay, we're leaving, you know, blah blah, blah and we just mess with each other because we're siblings. I'm sorry, we have to mess with each other. And my sister, one of one of the twins, said, "Bring me back a, bring me back a, a goat. No, bring me back a sheep, because I'm going to the Midwest." So. I found a little lamb cookie cutter. We thought that was funny. We, well, we were looking for antiques. We were looking for sheep. But Nathan's like, hey, what about this? I'm like, perfect. So she doesn't know yet. And yeah, I'd be like, here, I brought you a sheep. So anyway, I know. Absolutely random. And these little tiny ones, these little itty bitties. I, I got several of these little gingerbread things. These are actually going to be decorative. I'm not sure if you guys remember last year Target had that strand of lights with um, cookie cutters. I plan to probably reproduce something like that, but without the lights, just twine and just cookie cutter, just for a little rustic vintage feel. But before I do that, I actually might make them into cinnamon ornaments with when I make the ones for this, whatever little pieces are left, I can always use these and make them tiny ornaments for a tree. So that might be a project that I do for like a whole Christmas tree. And it'll be an inexpensive project, maybe like a little series of like, hey, inexpensive rustic 
farmhouse decor kind of situation because I think that would be super cute. Each one of these were like 95 cents or 88 cents. I'm sure a small artificial tree will cost me like four or five bucks, especially if I use a coupon or if it's on sale. And you know, just something inexpensive. Like, and I like to give decorative pieces sometimes. So that might be a gift for someone. But yes, that was it. This was the coolest thing. We saw this and I'm like definitely getting this because it could be like ornaments or treats or whatever for the family. So that was that from Yoder's, Yoder's um, hardware store. And now for my little antiques. Okay, so we went to a few places in, I went to a place in Napanee. I got some stuff like this last year for my nephews, uh, for one of my nephews or the last time we went, but now I have two nephews, so I got them little buggies from Napanee uh, that they could play with because they're wooden toy, they're, I mean, they're technically meant for decor or whatever, but they're wooden pieces my nephews can play with and you know, they're just cute. So we went to this place in, was it Napanee? No, yeah. In, called the Cow Barn. It's this massive barn that they turned into an antique mall. So I got a few little things. And of course I just got like little things. And these are really meant to be decorative pieces. And they're going to go on the top shelf of my um, of my hutch with decorative things that I have on there. And these are just basically doll things. But they're cute. Okay, this is the way I... For decorative pieces, if you don't have the space for like a full-size muffin tin and this and that, I tend to buy little doll ones and just kind of accent them and put them here and there and just add them in little places in my decorative shelf or in my decoration so you have the vintage piece you just may not have the full size one and these doll toys were really well made so this one is a little muffin tin and i might even use them i'm going to start try to use some of these things in my photos of backgrounds and, and and accessories and stuff like that and they're just super well made i mean seriously these can be for embellishments I found this one, rusty, dirty old one, and I loved it. And it has the deeper wells. These are pie tins, doll pie tins, and you can hear they're metal. So I want to use them for the holidays or for whatever, for decorating. They only had one little scoop for like glitter or beads or sequins or whatever. And I can use these for like for photo prompts. If you want to use sequins, but you don't want to throw sequins everywhere, put them in the little thing and put the little scoop in there with some sequins. And there's your photo prop. They had, and these were really inexpensive, so I got several of these. And it's just a little different one. But yeah, these little pie tins that they had these. They had several doll hangers, but you guys know I'm obsessed with mini hangers. I even have a video. Uh, do I have mine around here somewhere? Let's see. Because as you know, I am never prepared. Um, okay, so, okay. Yeah, I have some here. These are the ones that I made. I had I, I keep them together like this with, with um, washi so they don't go all over the place. So they're pretty good size. I was going to use these to try to figure out something, a new tutorial on how to make these because I like the way this has this space right here as opposed to mine is just a little corner. But nevertheless, they're gorgeous. And they're actually pretty much the same size. And I think the same wire that I use for this tutorial, I will be able to use for this one. So look out for that. Like I see things and I'm like, oh my God, oh, making a mess. Because sometimes not everybody can find the theme, so things. So I want to maybe start showing, I have a few Christmas ideas, start showing how you can make your own vintage style or as Nathan calls it, vintage, you know, a little bit faux vintage to, to use in your decor or your um, crafts and stuff. And these have this beautiful blue paint and it's all chippy and awesome and, I don't know what that got stuck to, so I'll just scrape that. I think that's paint. So these are super gorgeous. And once again, these can be used in my display, in my um, decorations, Christmas, whatnot. I did get a few. Okay, we got also, I did get this seed sack. And this is one of the, and here's the thing. When you go to antique stores in Vegas, stuff is really expensive. Back there, not so much. <laughs> and Nathan's cousin is like, well, it's Indiana. It's everywhere. And this was just this really cool seed bag. And what I plan to is just fill it with like an old pillow and tie it off with some twine and then just have it sitting in the corner for a decor piece. Like plain and simple. And it, this one was really inexpensive, I think. I forgot how much it was because it was on here. But it was one of the ones that had the more visible um, print and whatnot. And it was... 
and it's actually from you know i'm most familiar with indiana and yeah we're just gonna stuff an old pillow in here and tie it off with some twine or some ribbon and it would be for decor or for christmas i thought it would be super cute so nathan helped me find these nathan's really good sometimes i'm like okay we need to find this and this and this all of a sudden he's like here or look here i'm like how did you see that i didn't even notice so he helps me a lot with my crazy antique endeavors like i tell him what i'm looking for and he somehow finds it he's really good at it so thank you nathan i got taffy why why not this was from yoders i just wanted to try it now another thing that i got and that i'm starting to be obsessed with is ice cream boxes or okay packaging i love 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 packaging because it tells so much my favorite packaging is christmas packaging from like the old um shiny bright boxes and stuff like that the cool thing is these can be shipped easier these can be um these can be easier for you to move around and stuff and for you to store as well but not only that let me see this one when you i can display them once again in my little um, hutch and everything where I have my little antiques or using for Christmas and look at that this is oh my gosh Myers sweet rose and vanilla ice cream I want to try that now and from bourbon Indiana so how awesome like and it's gorgeous they're gorgeous every side has something this is actually where you originally would open it from but um, and open up this way so and that one hasn't been opened. It was basically just flattened. This was really good. And this cost me like $1.75, you guys. That was nuts. This one was like two or three bucks. I just really, really liked the um, the artwork. The colors, the polar brand, ice cream for better quality. This one's from Detroit, Michigan. And let me see. Honeydew. Like, shut up. Like, is that the flavor? I want some. We make the best different than the rest. Ooh. And it's union made. Let's go ahead and assemble this one. So yeah, so these things, like I said, some of these were displayed flat, some of them were displayed uh, open, but it was easy just to flatten them out. I brought them back in my carry-on between some brochures and stuff like that. So, but look at that. And it's just like, just, they're just gorgeous. They're super adorable. Like I seriously, seriously love packaging because it gives it a vintage touch and the colors oh my goodness so this was another one this one was flat they had an open one but this one was flat and this one is and i believe this one actually was never used because sometimes some of these places they find in their storage certain items that were never used so this is louis candy kitchen ice cream north manchester that's like look at that all the print all of that to open uh, see quality ice cream it's just it's just super cute so let's go ahead we're going to assemble this one because this one was flat and this one was never um never assembled so but it was the same price as the one that um the one that was so and you can still feel like the waxy texture from the box of the box let's see Ooh. I'm. Can you tell I'm like totally distracted? See, look, that thing. Probably the first time it's been popped. Ah. Okay. I always try not to mess things up because <laughs> I can't just fly back right now to Indianapolis and get another one. So here's the, here's that. So these can be stacked up. These can be just like that. This is all going to be in decorative pieces. And someone asked me like, what do you plan to do with all that? Just the decor, because they're gorgeous. I can use it for the holidays. I can use it for whatever. This was another little find that I got now. When I when we got home, um, I, this was probably waiting to fall off. I am going to adhere this back on here, I'm thinking, or just place this on there. Now, the cool thing with this is that Nathan's like, look, I found this really cool box. I'm like, that is too cute. The colors are perfect. The distressing is still good. This is just like perfectly printed, um, perfectly done. So it's still in really good condition. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, yes, I want it. And the price was like three bucks. And then for some reason, I'm like, I, I'm like, it feels weird. Like something's shifting and I go like this. Sometimes in these boxes, they will put tissue paper to expand them to make it look bigger. I mean, to, to keep them in the shape. But I'm like, there's something in here. I'm like, hopefully it's not like a dead animal or something. And it was the actual little freaking stroller. Here's the other flap. 
it has the other flap it goes like this right here this one i won't be able to glue if i wanted to adhere them I, this little lip right here will just adhere that but if i keep it in the same place just like that it should be fine i could just leave it like that so i don't have to put it adhesive but how crazy it still has the little stroller inside and it's in pretty good condition it looks like it's a new condition so i thought that was a plus because and and if anything i can display it like like this with a little stroller on top but that was super cute i was so 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 amazed by it because i'm telling you i could feel something and i thought it was just tissue paper but no it was the actual stroller how freaking cute it's three bucks let me put this back in here so I know before I break something. Okay. So yeah, so that was a neat, neat little find. And like I said, I was going to get it just for the packaging, just for the box. And it turns out it had the actual little baby stroller inside. So how freaking cute was that? So anyway, I'm sorry to babble on. We are already at 20 minutes. So if you guys stick along to, for all of this, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much. And if you are in the Midwest somewhere and you have some of these items, like some of these packaging like really cool packaging that you're looking to get off your hands let me know leave me a comment message me i'm still looking for a lot of um christmas packaging i love christmas packaging the funny thing is when we go into antique stores and they have like a box of ornaments like of old shiny bright ornaments they tell me oh but it doesn't have all the ornaments i'm like i don't want the ornaments because sometimes they're different colors i want the boxes i want the packaging the boxes um that come along with it because that's what really oh my gosh i love them and i can always use them and pa stack them and use them for decor for christmas and throughout the year in all, in all honesty but one time um one time some we were in a shop and it was two boxes they had each one of them had like half i'm like look you can just put the other ones in the other one and just tell me one of the boxes he's like you wouldn't mind i'm like no i just want the box i'm crazy even nathan's like yeah we were telling his dad that pretty much i'm obsessed with some of the packaging and I love certain objects, but packaging is just really, really gorgeous. Like somebody took the care and the time and, and they're all different. You know, they're all individual. So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys liked our little jump through Indianapolis and Michigan. And I totally had fun and I can't wait to go back. So thank you guys for stopping by and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.